Yo, what's going on, boys and girls? And today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble an S20 uh, Ultra uh, 5G. So I already got the the back case off, and yeah. And what you're gonna need is uh, one Phillips head to get all these screws out. So I'm gonna start taking this screw out. This one out. Two, three. Then I'm going to take this, and also you are supposed to be grounded, so here, I'm going to get my... <laughs> It's my grounding uh, thing, <laughs> or actually it's an electrostatic strap, basically that's what it's really called. Now, I'm going to take this screw out, put that aside, take this, we'll take, oops. This one. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna take this. And we'll take this one out. Sorry for the angles. This one, you should just take all of them out all at once. Take this. Take this one. And last but not least. This one. And then I'm going to use a black stick. It's a black stick, and I'm going to uh, pry out these uh, flex cables. I'm going to take this. Actually, here, let me take this one out if I can use one hand. There we go. The trick is, is to get under and then twist. So get under and then twist. Oh, here, let me get another one. This is not flat enough. All right, I got another one. Get underneath. Uh, or actually, yeah, you know, never mind. I can get it underneath. Like one this way. Mm. See, I wish I had two hands. That's, this is making it more, there we go. There we go, just slowly, oh. Forgot this last screw, and also go slowly. You don't want to mess up, mess anything up. Yeah, there we go. 
See, I usually use a black stick for almost everything to start tinkering, but you can use your hand to just go slowly and then also take this peel it off, but slowly though. This is the wireless connector. Peel this off. Cool. All right. Now we take this flex connector out. And you got all the screws, just double checking, and then you can just go underneath, and there we go. Push that out. And then for this one, what I do is I get underneath right here, and then, oops. Yeah, but y'all, don't do it like that. Don't do it how I did, but you know, you get the idea. Then, Disconnect the battery. Disconnect this. It's like the main circuit that connects to. What does this connect to? It connects to something. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Disconnect this. Disconnect this. Disconnect this. Charger for the main for the main board. Disconnect that, and then you can take this out. And so you can just go underneath, just like this. Actually, two screws. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry, sorry. Take that screw out. Take this. And then I'll just take this one out too. This uh, it's only one screw. And then what, what, what was I doing? Sorry. Uh, okay, yeah. Just taking this out real quick. Hopefully I can. Here we go. That's out. And then I can take this. This piece out. There we go. Got it. Alright. And then... What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh yeah. Did I disconnect this? I think no, I didn't. Okay. Disconnect the battery and disconnect this. If I can there we go. The trick is to get underneath, yeah. Underneath and then just twist underneath and then twist. Disconnect that. Disconnect that. Disconnect. Disconnect that there we go and then the camera disconnect the two underneath and then twist just like that and we'll also have to take this uh it's called the vi motor we need to get that out so i need to switch tools real quick Basically, you go underneath, use this uh, tool, it's called a, they call it a pry tool, I don't know if it's going to focus, but, yeah, just underneath, and, uh, come on, baby, there we go, it's coming out. Cool. to here take this out switch the Phillips head and then I gotta take these two screws that's holding these camera cases one two take this out and then take this out 
last thing, uh, sorry about the noise, uh, the last thing, I am going to take the SIM out, They're basically using the SIM tool, and uh, so I can, you know what, I'm probably just going to have to, yeah, here, there we go. Just take it out. Ooh, if you can tell me out. There we go. See? Ooh. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to take the logic board out. So what I do is I put it underneath like that. Ooh. And I try to push up, but slowly though, don't don't force it out. See, it's coming up. And let me double check, make sure I got all the screws. And I got all the flex cables out. Alright, here. So I can I can push it up. You can also get yeah, there we go. Get it from another edge. And that is how to safely remove, well, actually, also you have to, don't forget these 5G's, you have to take these 5G's out. It's like a 5, these are 5G flex cables to get the 5G access. So, use another Phillips, take the two screws. Sorry about the noise, but it's all good, almost done. And then, there's ways to get this out, but I usually just use this Phillips head, and then push it out, just like that. And then safely, because don't, don't bend it, just, you know, safely get it out. Just like that, there we go. Cool. And then, same thing right over here. Take this out. They could be quiet just for two minutes and I'll be done. But take this out. Be careful not to strip the screws. Okay. And then I'll take this out by pushing it up again. Oop. I think I got it. Uh, there we go. Cool. Got it. And that concludes the video. Sorry about the whole uh, bad uh, angle, so peace. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna, it's the Epic Damien here, back at it with another video. Now today I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble an S20, uh, uh, sorry, no, a Note 20 Ultra 5G. So I already got all my parts and stuff, and honestly it should be kind of organized and a lot more better looking, but you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, first I'm going to start putting in my uh, main logic board. So I'm going to get underneath and make sure that all these uh, cables, like all these cables are above the, you know, the, the main board. So I usually try to do it like this, like put this underneath. Actually, no, sorry. Let's first get the uh, 5G, these 5G little things, and put these on first. So, here, let me, okay, got it. Uh, basically put it on like this, slide it in, just like that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but basically just slide it in, and then you get your Phillips screws. If I can get these screws to attach, okay. Get one, screw it in. Get the other. If I can attach it, if I can get it, uh, Lordy. Alright, cool. 
then screw it in. And then also there's gonna be a 5G right here. It should look like this. So basically you're gonna put it in just like this. Have the black facing this way. So uh, if I can get it with one hand, I think I got it because I'm awesome. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I got it. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Get this screw and screw it in. I get this other screw. And then I will screw it in. And take this little mini uh, board, put it right here. Ooh. If it can angle, there we go. Sorry. And I'm going to take a, this uh, black screw, it should be a black screw to screw it in in the middle. So I'm going to screw it in nice and carefully. So right here, screw this. Just nice and tight, don't go aggressively. And then put this, connect this, right, like that. And then I'm gonna come like this charger cable. So you put it in just like this, like that. Uh, you uh, bring it in at, at an angle and then straighten it out, just like bending it, bending it back. Or technically, I was supposed to put this first, but I think nope, not good. Okay, I have to redo this. I have to I have to put this in first before I put this. Sorry, hold up. Okay, we're back. So, I'm gonna put this in just like that. Cool. Then, I'm gonna take my stick and get my Phillips screw. Cool. I get this. Put it in just like that. And then I'm going to take this little tiny motherboard mother and. Uh, if I can perfect. Okay, cool. Seated perfectly. Then get my screw and get a black screw, and then I am going to position it like this. Here, let me show you just like that, and then I will screw it in. Cool. Then you can connect the connectors, you should hear like a pop, feel like a pop or something, or hear a pop. You hear that? There we go. See, and then all those are connected. Uh, see, you're supposed to put this as well. See, I wouldn't recommend putting it in like this. You're supposed to put this. <sighs> see, I'm still new at this, guys. So I'm not an expert. I'm sorry. <laughs> So a little cheat I do is I take this, put this out like that, and then I have to put this up. And then put 
put the square just like that. There we go. See, now it's underneath. And gotta put the screw back in. The black screw. Yeah, guys, I know I suck, so. <laughs> I'd be better if I had had two hands, but only one hand, you know. But I'm actually doing pretty good with one hand, you know. Uh, all right, cool. Cool. All right, now I need to get this motherboard in. Now make sure all these connectors are like above the motherboard. That way it connects. So. I'm going to do my best with one hand. Alright, then don't forget this camera. So I need to get this connector up. Uh, this black stick, see if I can do that. Uh, let me see if I could. Alright, I'm going to use need two hands. I'm sorry guys, here, hold up. Okay guys, we're back. So, I was able to get that connector above the logic board so all you guys gotta do is just push it down there we go perfect and then i'm gonna put this the battery connect the battery right right here i don't know if you guys can see it but uh, yeah whatever just connect the battery just like that don't know why i'm moving so much mm, if i can connect this battery there we go. Then connect this main board. There we go. Then connect this. Just like that. And then connect this. Like that. And then same thing goes here. And here. And here. Cool. Then what else am I trying to do? Oh yes, I am trying to. Okay, so oh sorry, almost forgot. Forget the, the front camera. Gotta connect that too. Cool. All right, and then put this and. Connect it. See this connector? Don't forget to connect it. Uh, there we go. Cool. Okay, and make sure to push down on these things too. And then you're gonna put this in second. Oh, sorry, it's this way. Oops. If I can get it, there we go. Oops, still sticky. <laughs> All right, and then you can go ahead and start screwing this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna screw one, two, three, four, but you're not gonna screw these in uh, yet. Okay, here, just making sure it does. So. Yeah, I'm gonna just screw in these cameras real quick. Uh, the camera case. Mm. If I can get this screw, there we go. Attach the Phillips. There we go. Sorry. Cool. This screw and that attached to the camera case as well. And then uh, here, one sec, I forgot something. Yeah, so basically, these two screws are supposed to be uh, the black screws. I'm gonna switch them out and I'm just gonna put it here.
If I can get this, that'd be awesome. There we go. Come on. <sighs> See, this is one one of the reasons why two hands is better than one. Let me put this right there. Okay, now cut them to cash. Let's do this. And this and sorry it's taking so long all right cool now we can put this and the reason why we didn't you know screw these because these are going to, to uh, be on top and then you screw them and then also make sure you can uh, put these connectors so put the connectors like this one and this one and then once you know that it's uh, nice and aligned, so you can just start putting these sticks, like these are, they're sticky. So we put these, and that way they don't push up or anything. And this is the wireless connector to charge up your phone wirelessly. It's cool. And then we'll just put, uh, screw all the, put, and put all the screws. And make sure these screws are nice and tight. Don't 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 put it too tight, but just make sure they're nice and tight. You know. Just screw that screw on this end. Screw this in. Good. 
And then, last but not least, screw this. Okay, cool. Done. Now, I'll wait to test it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it in the case too, if if it's still sticky, you know. Or you can uh, buy some adhesive, you know, whatever you want to do. 